So, I have this all set up. I have a blanket. I have her little taco wrap, and you'll see what that means. This is just for, oh, I see she's moving. She might come out. Let's see. I just want to check the temperature on these. They are warm, not hot. Uh, I want you to remember something else about opossums. Remember that mom's body temperature is on, only 95. So if you're rehabbing squirrels, they want their formula really hot. But if you're rehabbing an opossum, they do not want their formula really hot. Really warm, maybe. I don't know if you can see inside there, but uh, let's see. We're going to see if we can focus. No, it doesn't want to focus. Okay. Well, anyway, Penny is in there, and she's making no attempt at coming out. So I'm going to reach in and get her. Somebody asked, does it hurt if they bite? Yeah, you know, it doesn't. She doesn't really have teeth. I would like to try to show you, but this little one has hissed at me and made an attempt. Come on out, Penny. When you are taking them, please be very careful. You disengage their claws. Many, many opossums have lost a claw. And I have been guilty of it only once, and I learned. So here's Penny. She's a little nervous, and she's like, really? What's happening? What's going on? Um, I want you to be able to see. Can you see? How did I sex her? She was easy. Can you see that pouch? She's got a very clear pouch. And we did an exam on her, and we checked all fingers and toes. She's able to grab with her tail. So Penny, we think, is maybe 12, maybe 14 weeks old. The thing about wearing gloves, um, when they're really small like this, if you have an RBS animal, you have to wear gloves. Uh, I have neuropathy, and it's hard for me to wear gloves, but the first 24 hours, I do. So what do I mean by a taco wrap? Uh, how you hold her, I almost, she's going to know. She's like, oh, this is food time. Look at that. She settles right down. I have her in here. Now, the first few times we did this, um, this was not easy. And she did not accept the tip right away, just so that you know. Um, and it's going to take you a while until you're comfortable on how you feel holding them. But let's start with, let's start with this, with a little bit. I first am going to make sure that I've got formula at the end. I do. And I'm just going to put it right at the very, don't go in her nose, right at almost underneath the bottom jaw is a little space. Look at that. And she takes it. This girl's ready to learn to lap. Can you see? Very slowly. Oh, that's my cat. Sorry. Very slowly. She'll let me know when she doesn't want any more. She'll turn her head. You have to be very careful. If you see bubbles coming out of her nose, whoa, holy smoke, stop. Then you have uh, probably, <laughs> she's joking. She's not, look it, she's doing this well. So I'm going to give her, so there was two and a half milliliters in here. So people say, oh, you know, tube them, it's quicker. That's ridiculous. It isn't. If you know how to feed an opossum, it's just as fast to do it this way and uh, oh, you're going to um, aspirate them. Ha! It's easy to aspirate them by tubing them. Again, this is Pam Lefferts talking. Other rehabbers are going to disagree with me vehemently. That's fine. Everybody is different. But as you can see, this is going very well. She's now taken about uh, one and a half milliliters. She's slowing down. She's like, oh, really? This is 50%, so this must seem strong to her. Now when I get halfway through this, uh, or if she stops, I'm going to toilet her. Oftentimes I potty them right away. And actually, I should have mentioned that. All right, so she turned her head. She said, look, she put her head in. She said, that's enough for right now. I should have mentioned that 